Awesome, man. How about you, dude? Anything at all? How's your back? This dude's gonna heal people. Who needs healing? Your back's hurting, man. For Come real. on, step right? up. So like, for real. So like, what I heard in my heart, man, is you have two discs already in your back that are messed up, right? Two okay. herniated discs. What? All right, man. For real, right? Two. Okay. Hey. So we're gonna pray right now. Jesus Word is gonna heal you, dude. For real. All right. So Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for brand new discs right now. In Jesus' name. Brian, just say discs be healed. Discs be healed in Jesus' name right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. Come Holy Spirit. Dude, this is something that like even is passed down. It's like a family thing. Like your dad, like all that stuff. Like they work hard. You have bad backs your, your, in your family? Jesus, come on. Yeah. Father, I thank you really? in Jesus' name. But God, you? you would actually heal his father too right now. Yeah. God, thank you. And I thank you for his dad's right shoulder right now. In Jesus' name, right now. Jesus' name. Father, I thank you also for his mama's neck right now. In Jesus' name. I command her neck to be she healed right now. Problems. Yep. She has a neck problem, man. It's a problem. Go right up in the back of the right side of her neck, dude. In Jesus' name, right now. <laughs> Touch her now, God. In Jesus' name. Does he hear that stuff? In Jesus' name. Hey man, dude, bend and check it. Listen, back. check. Oh, listen, man. Dude, check it. Like bend over, bend over and check it. How, we don't. Hey, I don't. We don't know you. How does? Dude, so is that, that crazy? Was that right? Was that right? What he said about your dad and about your mom. Hold on. Are you serious? So good, dude. It's the truth, man. That's why you were left. For real, dude. Wow, so man. for real. Hey. You need to get back from the break away. Like, no being put on the spot, man. Like, is there anything? What would you say, man? Not being considerate to my parents. Not being considerate to your parents, man? Yeah. Come on, dude. Where are you at with Jesus, bro? I grew up in the first place. Okay, man. Have you ever given your life to him? Have you ever asked him to come and make his home inside you? Come on, man. The only way to be considerate to your parents, man, honestly, Honestly, I promise. Dude, I was a drug addict for 22 years, man. I I was so mad at my mom and so mad at my dad, and, and I just, it just, rah, just exploded all the time. Bro, for real, man. Look, we all work. We all work. God will take it, man. God will take I promise, man. God will take it from you, dude. Listen, the only way he can take it from you is if you ask him to come and make his home inside, man. So he can work this thing out. There's no way for you to clean yourself up. Look, there's no way for people to clean themselves up enough to come, man. Nobody can. That's right, man. But Jesus can do it, bro. Preach. Would you pray with me, man? Say louder. I'm serious, man. Would you let him come and make his home inside of you, man? Come on, man. Yeah? Look, how many of you guys, how many of you guys have ever, like, listen, man, do you guys believe that Jesus is real? Do you believe that? Come on, man. I want you guys, you do me a favor, bro. I listen. I don't, it don't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter where you're at. Would you be willing to pray with me right now for God to have your life completely and for him to possess your life? Who would say that they would do that right now? That's right. It's Jesus, man. It's got to be Jesus, man. Come on. Who else? Who all would do it, man, to say yes to Jesus, man, for real? Come on, man. Awesome. Come on. Let's do it. Everybody come in the huddle. Whoever wants to pray with us, I want you guys to come in right now. Come on, man. This is awesome. I'm serious, dude. Have you guys ever given your life to Jesus? Have you ever? I have a crucifix on my back. Come here. Come on up here. Come on. Fieldy, this is so good. Listen, we're going to ask God right now to come and make his home inside. I'm not, I'm, I'm, this sounds funny, but I promise you, it changes everything. If you've never given your life to Jesus, come up here. Do it right now. Come on with Fieldy and Brian. Let's just do it. And Jesus will heal you of anything that you're sick of right now. Come on. We're going to pray and ask Jesus to possess us. <laughs> oh, I promise. It'll be the best thing you ever did. Religion isn't a real deal. Jesus is a real deal, man. That's right, bro. It's Jesus Christ, man. He paid a price for us to be forgiven of all of our junk. But he also paid a price for to come and make his home inside, man. I promise you this, bro. God will change your life, man. I'm serious. You came up here. That was like bold, bro. Bold, man. I'm proud of you, man. Love you, dude. I don't even know you. It don't matter, man. I'm serious, dude. Doesn't matter what you've been. Doesn't matter where you've been. It's one thing to say that I believe in God. It's another thing to say that I believe that Jesus has come to make his home inside of me.
and I believe that Jesus is my only way to God. Listen, there's a lot of gods out there. There's only one Jesus. Are you hearing me? Can you guys understand? That's right. He's with you every day. So to ask him to come and make his home inside of you, that's just it. So Jesus paid a price on the cross of Calvary. Paid a price to forgive our sins, but he also paid a price to come and live inside of us through the Holy Spirit. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask Jesus just to forgive us, God to forgive us of all our sin. Jesus paid a price that we could never pay. Paid a price so that he could come and have his way and come and live inside of us, okay? So right now, man, all I'm going to do is I'm going to lead you guys. We're going to pray. We're going to... Who here would say that they definitely believe that Jesus was real? Yeah? Come on. That's qualification right there. Do you believe Jesus died for you? Do you believe that Jesus was raised from the dead for you? Listen, I don't care what kind of upbringing you had. It doesn't matter if you were Catholic, if you were... It doesn't matter. What matters is that you know that Jesus paid the price he did. But he didn't pay just the price to get you to heaven. He paid a price to get heaven inside of you. So that the Holy Spirit can come and make his home inside of you. Listen, right now, what he's going to do is take all your junk, all the stuff that we came up with, all the stuff that was done to us, and all the stuff we wish we'd never done. He's going to clear it, dude, because Jesus is the only way. I promise, man, it's not religion. It's a relationship with the King of Glory. Amen? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Ready. Everybody, come on. Everybody, I want you to pray with me, okay? I want you to say this. Lord God. Lord God. Right now, right now, we're saying that we believe that Jesus died for our sin, that he was raised from the dead for me, and that all of my past and all the things I wish I never did, all the stuff I never, ever, all the stuff that I did that I wish I didn't, all the stuff that I did that I wish I didn't, that right now we're about to nail it to the cross at Calvary. Right now, addiction is going to be broken off of our lives. Right now, addiction is going to be broken off of our lives. Lord God, forgive us of our sin. Lord God, forgive us of our sin. We're asking you right now to come and make your home inside of us. We're asking you right now to come and make your home inside of us. I know. You guys are great. So we're taking one person at a time, and hopefully we're encouraging you. Tomorrow's a new day. and Like I said, it's hard to believe in what you can't see, but you know what? you got to believe in something. But when you know what Jesus did, that you're forgiven that much of all your dirty laundry? Oh, yeah. I all that? Weeks ago, no, right? he forgives you for everything that I you've done? He does. He does. So when you realize that, it says that those who have been forgiven much can love much. Just pray. Just ask a man real quick. Can you do that? Just say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my life. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Give me the strength to do this stuff. Give me the strength to do this. He saved us, not by works we had done, but because of his mercy through his Holy Spirit.